So wonderful to see the children in action. Daruan mea karing kriya karakam kiri ma dakindi taam hondha dea. How many of you like to be like a small child? Oba kiedele kuda daruwe kwaage venta kemeni. So worry free. Hama kharadare ki ma nidahas wa siti na u tatpya. They just play all the time. O nitra ma karanne selam kiri ma. Hallelujah. Sometimes we need to look at the children and take some examples from them samahara pita pita daruwan gen udaharana ape jeevitha walata ganna siddha wenawa they laugh for every little thing kuda dekata pawa un sinas wenawa sometimes we adults find it so difficult to even smile samahara kelata apita nikan sinasima katakonakin sinasima pawa amaru wi siddha wenawa especially the adults visheshen wedi hitiyan hata hallelujah the bible says that there's joy in your heart bible e kiyanne obage hadawata tula preethiya tibena babai hallelujah 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 i quickly want to share just a few things about the birth of jesus itha itmanin ma kemathi unwahansege upata gena obata karana kihipayak beda ganna there are countless reasons that are mentioned in the bible about his birth that is so significant unwahansege upata gena itha pahadiliwa boho sthana wala sadahan wi tibena and uh, jesus was born as a part of god's uh, master plan jesus wahanse upata labuwe un deviyan wahanse ge visheshata bu pradana salasma gatanuwai it was a plan of redemption that he had uh, in his heart eka un deviyan wahanse ge hadawata tula tibuno midime salasma hatiyata ai tibena and he even prophesied about it in genesis chapter 3 verse 15 utpatti tune pahalave di pawa deviyan wahanse me gana anawe kiyen phawasuwa and in that scripture it says genesis chapter 3 verse 15 i think we should read that scripture utpati tune pahalave api e padaya kiyawamu he says and i will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed he shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel if you count from today it's almost 6000 years ago god decided to send jesus down to earth i think ada dawase sita api passata ganam beluwahot avurudu 2000 kata kalin mahanse 2000 years sorry yes avurudu 2000 kata kalin unwahanse the prophecy was given 6000 years ago i think avur etterama me anawe kiya pawasana ladde ada sita passata giyahot avurudu 6000 kata kalin but for 4000 years god kept speaking my son is going to come jesus the redeemer is going to come to redeem mankind i think eda indala unwahanse avurudu 4000k wena kan un deviyan wahanse me de pawasamin sitiya mage ma visin ewana lada medun karu ewananta yana medun karu paminenawa kiya avurudu 4000k purawata pawasamin sitiya we read in the book of genesis that god created a beautiful world for adam and eve adam sah he placed them in the garden of eden adam sah eva sadaha edan uyene unwahanse alankara uyanak mawanu labuwa but the bible says that they messed up and namut bible de sandahan karanne on siyalla aul karagatta and because of the fall of man manushyange vati manisa god had to bring forth jesus to this earth devyan man sir siddha una yesus wanse me polawata genenna he chose jesus even from the very foundations of the earth the bible says bible sandahan karanne polawe attiwarama daman tat kaling devyan wanse un wanse wa thora gatta kiya So one of the first reasons that I can give you today was Jesus is born to show us God's love. Ekade ak tamai ma kemanthi wanne obata penna nath dawase unwahansege upata labimata hetuwa deva premaya. And because of his love he wanted to give life to mankind. Unwahansege premaya nisa unwahanse manushyan hata unwahansege jeevithaya dunna. Men actually Adam and Eve they enjoyed God in the garden of Eden in the beginning. ආරම්භයේදී ආදම් සහ ඒව දෙවියන් වහන්සේගේ ඒ ආශ්‍රය උන්වහන්සේගේ සම්බන්ධතාවයත් වින්දා. But they lost that 
intimate relationship because of sin namut e e sambandha thave kittu sambandha thave paapaya nisa on ahime kara gatta because they disobeyed god on deviyan wahanseta ake karuvima hetuwe so because of his love god says i'm going to give them not only life but i'm going to bring eternal life it everlasting is, life to mankind un wahanse ge premaya nisa thamai un wahanse kiwe mage senagata mage manushyan hata mama praya jeevanaya laba denawa sadaa kaalik pavatinnaa u jeevanaya un wahanse laba denawa we know that in uh, john chapter 3 verse 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life the johan tune dase kiyenawa unwahanse eka jataka putriya nan dena taram lokaya hata prema kala seka ese kale unwahanse kere adaha ganna u kisi kenek vinasha novi sada kala jeevanaya labana pinisaya man actually had life inside of him eternal life was inside within him manushya thula me sada kala jeevanaya thibuna but because they fell into sin namuton paapeta vatima nisa they had to face death own hata maranayata muhuna denta siddha una physical death bahutika maranaya in second timothy chapter 1 verse 10 it reads like this dekha timothy eke 10 menna mehema kiyena but is now made manifest by the appearing of our savior jesus christ who has abolished death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel jesus has brought he abolished death and has brought immortality through the gospel of jesus christ then jesus christ swahanse ge subaranche tulin unwahanse maraneya parajaya karamin unwahanse jeevanaya denu labuwa eka tibenne deka timothy eke 10 and even in hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 it says jesus is the one who destroyed death who had the power of death devil himself jesus hebrew pote pavasanne jesus wahansema e maranaya e balaya thau yakshyawa marunu labuwa so the first reason that god had to send jesus down to earth was because he loved mankind i think palamu karanawa unwahanse jesus wahanse polawata ewimata enam unwahanse ge premaya he wanted man to live just like the way he lived in love and in life Unwahans- enjoy life to the De- fullest devian wahanse to ona ona manushya vargaya devian wahanse sitinna sema sitinta enam sampurna premaya saha sampurna jeevanaya jesus Ativa. said in john 10:10 10, i have come to give life life to the fullest or abundant life yes so wahanse kiwet ma aave onta jeevanaya denta yeah adikalesa laba denta and the second reason or the next one is jesus was born to save us from our sins devini karuna unwahanse ge paminimata unwahanse apawa paapen nidahas karana pinisa paminiya bible says in matthew chapter 1 verse 21 and she shall bring forth a son and you shall call his name jesus for he shall save his people from their sins matthew ek vc ek ek eno unwahanse ta Jesus yana naamaya thaba panna maknisada tamange senaga onge paapa walin galawanne unwahanseya so Jesus has brought salvation to mankind i think Jesus wahanse manushya vargaya hata galawima gena Jesus is the savior of the whole world Jesus wahanse mulu lokya gema galawum karu hatiyata i sitinne in John's gospel chapter 1 verse 29 John said like this Yohann eke visinaame menna mehema kiyena behold the lamb of god who taketh away the sin of the whole world o yohan tuma pavasanne balawa unwahans deviyan wahanse ge betalu patawano loke paapaya duru karana deviyan wahanse ge betalu patawano since you have received jesus you have been forgiven of all your sins i think oba jesus wahanse wa piligena tibena nisa oba ge siyaluma paapa walata samawa labi tibenawa In Micah chapter 7 verse 19 it has a nice scripture it says all our sins have been cast into the depth of the sea Micah hate visi name kiyenawa apage siyalu papa 719 Micah hate 19 apage siyalu ma papa muhude gamburu muhude helanu labuwa Hallelujah so nobody can remind you of your past sins because in the depth of the sea that he has just buried it think is kene kuda beha obage paranna pau මතක් කරන්න මම දෙයිව තාම ගැඹුරු මොහොතටම 
dawa wala la thi hallelujah 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 thank god for jesus yes is wahan se nisa devi anwasra stuti the third reason of the next one is it to redeem us from the curse of the law ilanga karuna hatiyata thibenne unwasa ki pamini banda apawa vyavasthave shapayen mudawa ganimata the curse of the law is threefold vyavasthave shapaya akara tunna akare thibena sickness and poverty paapaya dharma dupat kama saha rogaya jesus bo all of them on the cross jesus swahanse me siyalla kuruse heti kurusata ganu labwa unwahanse vetata ganu labwa and not only that he redeemed us from sin sickness and death he also said that i want pe my people back he wanted us to be his very children or the sons of the most high god i think unwahanse apage paapaya rogaya sa dupat kama daruwa pamana neme unwahanse rawashya una mage daruwanwa manushya vargawa nawata ma vetata ganu labanne kiyanne unwahanse apa unwahanse ge daruwan bawata pat kala he has adopted us as his own sons and daughters se ge ma diyaniyan putriyan hatiyata unwahanse apa daru kamakata daru kamata hada ganta men aragena thibena so if you have received jesus as your lord and savior i think oba unwahan seva obage swami asa galum karu hadita pilikena thibena john's gospel chapter 1 verse 12 says yohan 1:12 pawasana paridi but as many as received him to them gave he the power to become sons of god and not only that to those who believe on his name යම් පමණ දෙනෙක් උන්වහන්සේ පිළිගත්තොත් එනම් උන්වහන්සේගේ නාමය කෙරෙහි අදහ ගන්නෝද ඔවුන්ට දෙවියන් වහන්සේගේ දරුවන් වෙන්න උන්වහන්සේ බලය දුන් සේක and the fourth reason or another reason Jesus is born to bring peace to mankind එවගේ මොන් වහන්සේගේ පැමිණීමට හතර වෙනි කරුණ හැටියට තිබෙන්නේ මනුෂ්‍ය වර්ගය හට සාමය ගෙන ඒමටයි Jesus was our peace offering Jesus වහන්සේ තමයි අප උදෙසා කරනු ලැබූ sam pujava he is the one who brought peace between god and man un mahanse thamai devyan mahanse api atareth samaya samadhane etikale he paid the penalty for our sins in full pau wen wen sampurna danduwama un mahanse gewanu labuwa in 1 john chapter 2 and verse 2 says eka yohan eke deke kiyenawa chapter 2 verse 2 eka yohan deke deka He is the propitiation for our sins and not for us only but also for the sins of the whole world. Un mahanse ape phau udesa shanti kara puja avaya ape phau udesa pamanak nova mulu lokyat udesaya. So the sin debt was paid in full through Jesus Christ. I think paap puja av Christus mahanse visin sampurna ma gewanu lapuwa. The fifth reason pasveni karuna jesus is born to be a mediator between god and man yes swanse upata labuwe un deviyan wahanse apa atarat madihat karuweku wehema udesai he brought a better covenant with better promises and the old covenant un wahanse parna gewisuma ta wada honda porondu thibennawu honda gewisuma genenu labuwa i want you to turn to this scripture and read it In Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 6 Hebrew ate haya api perala balama Because you should understand that we should know through this scripture that we are under a better covenant with better promises Me pade etulin api danagatha yutu karuna unwahanse wada honda gewisumaka wada honda porondu apata di tibena bawai In Hebrews chapter 8 verse 6 Hebrew ate haya but now has he obtained a more excellent ministry by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant which was established upon better promises 8 verse 6 namud then unwahanse wada utum porundu pita pita wana laddawu wada honda givisumaka madahat kara kenekwa sitinna seva unwahanse wada utum sevaya labu seka so if god has given you a promise hold fast to the It, confession of your faith he is faithful to bring that promise to pass i think unwahanse obra poronduwak thi thibenawana oba obage prakasha kirima tadin alla ganna mak nisa da poronduwa dun tanan wahanse vishwasavantawa sitina seka so as i said that he was he is a peace offering he brought peace between god and man the unwahanse apage sama puja wa hatita sitinawa e kiyanne deviyan wahanse manushyat athara sama ethikala 
Bible says peace was brought because of the cross that Jesus had to die on the cross and that's how he brought peace. ඉතින් මේ සමාදානය අපිට ඇතුනේ කොහොමද ක්‍රිස්තුස් වහන්සේ මරණය විඳීම තුලින් කුරුසියෙහි දී. In Colossians chapter 1 verse 20 කේ විස්ස is a good promises that we should understand why Jesus came. දැන් යේසුස් වහන්සේ පැමිණීමට හේතුව සඳහන් කරන්න ඕනේ ඉතා හොඳ බයිබල් පද හැටියටයි මේවා තිබෙන්නේ. In chapter 1 verse 20 says had having made peace through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things unto himself by him i say whether they be things on earth or things in heaven unvahanse karna kota gena sialu de enam polavehi tibena dewal de wuwat swarga wala tibena dewal wuwat unvahanse karna kota gena tamanta samawak kar ganimatat piyanan vahanse prasanna bo seka So he has reconciled everything, all things, unto himself. If he unvahan se sealu deval ma unvahan se vetha samagi karaganu lebo anasan nevata pihite uva. Six reason Jesus was born that he could bring grace and truth to us. Hai vani karuna unvahan se ge pamini mada apa vetha satyat anugrahayat. John's Gospel chapter one verse seventeen it says the law was given by Moses but grace and truth. came by Jesus Christ Johann eke dahate dahate kena mak nisa da vyavasthawa Moses karna kota gena dena laddeya anugrahaya da satya da pamenune Jesus Christus wahanse karna kota gena ya Jesus said I'm the way the truth and the life Jesus wahanse kiwe margaya da satya da jeevanaya da mamaya no man come to the father except by him ma karna kota gena misa kisimek So Jesus Mahan Seva the Pamine ne neta Jesus opened us the way to come to the father Pianan Mahan Seva the yana marge Jesus Mahan Seva sin vivrta karnu lebwa Jesus did something that no man was able to do Kisik kene kota karanta beri de Jesus Mahan Seva karnu lebwa Grace is God's unmerited favor even even, even why we were sinners yet he loved us that's Anu, grace anugrahaya kiyanne api labanta sudusu nathiwa siti kaaledit apita labunu deyak so this day if you have you know you think i'm a sinner i don't know you know whether god will accept me yes because of his grace he will accept you ithin ada tama seba hetu mama paukarek mawa yesus wanse pili ganida danne naha attatama unwahanse obawa pili gannawa In Romans chapter 2 verse 4 it says the goodness of God leads men to repent. Roma deke it causes them to repent before God. Roma deke hatare pawasanawa e deviyan wahansege anugrahaya nathu karunawa thamai manushyanta pasu thavini wenta salaswanne. Repent means to change our ways, change our actions. Pasu thavili wima kiyanne apage marga wenas kirima apage kriyawal willing when us we ma and the seventh reason jesus is born so that we no longer have to live in condemnation and in guilt hath veni karuna unwahanse ge paminimata api thawa durata dosha aropane ho varada 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 kari hangimakin jeevat novi sitima in romans chapter 8 verse 1 it says there is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in christ jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit roma ate eke kiyena hein christus jesus wahanse tula sitinnanta dan danduwamata pat kirimak nata god has set you free nova atmen kriya karanne mo so god has set you free don't have to be condemned god never finds fault in you god says through jesus blood i have forgiven you ඉතින් දෙවියන් වහන්සේ ඔබව නිදහස් කර තිබෙන ඔබ දෝෂාරෝපෙන් සිටින්න අවශ්‍ය නැහැ ඒ දෙව යේසුස් ක්‍රිස්තුස් වහන්සේගේ ලේ තුලින් දෙවියන් වහන්සේ කියනවා මා ඔබට සම්පූර්ණ සමාව දී තිබෙනවා God did not send Jesus to condemn the world දෙවියන් වහන්සේ යේසුස් වහන්සේව මිනිස්යා විනිශ්චය කිරීම පිණිස එවනු ලැබුවේ නැහැ but through Jesus they might be saved නමුත් යේසුස් ක්‍රිස්තුස් වහන්සේ තුලින් ඕන් ගැලවෙන පිණිසයි so anyone who believes in Jesus he said i have given them eternal life i think jesus wants to get adahana sialanta unwanse porundu wanne sada kala jeevane the eighth reason atta veni karuna jesus is born so that we might receive the holy spirit jesus christ swahanse me polawata upata labuwe apahata shuddha atmanan wahanse 
ලැබෙන පිණිස that we might live a holy life අප විසින් ශුද්ධ ජීවිතයක් ගත කරන පිණිස and we have supernatural help ඒ වගේම අධි ස්වභාවික ශුද්ධාත්මන් වහන්සේ තුලින් අධි ස්වභාවික සුවය තුල ජීවත් වීමටයි Bible says in Acts 1 verse 8 you shall receive power when you receive the holy spirit you receive power to be a witness unto him kriya eke ate kiyanne shuddhaatmanan wahanse pemini kala api balaya labanawa kiyai mun wahansege sakshi karuwan wana pinisa and in acts chapter 2 verse 33 let's read this scripture kriya, in acts chapter 2 kriya deke 33 api kiyawamu therefore being right uh, therefore being by the right hand of god exalted and having received of the father the promise of the holy ghost he has shed for this which you now see and hear it was a promise by the father through jesus christ that i will send my holy spirit so that you can have the holy spirit inside of you living a supernatural life here on earth ehin unwahanse deviyan wahanse ge dakuna tin usas karnu laba porondu wo shuddhaatmana wahanse piyana wahanse gen laba nubala asana dakhina me de wagire useka deviyan wahanse shuddhaatmana wahanse wa apita ewanu labwa apa thula shuddhaatmana wahanse jeevatwana pinisa So enjoy life to the fullest. Holy Spirit is inside of you. Talk to him and enjoy him. He is your comforter. He lives within you. Shuddha atmana unvahanse oba thula jeevat wenawa. I think oba unvahanse ta katha karanna. Unvahanse samaga me jeevithe oba atwindinna. So meditate these scriptures that I have given you and these are some of the reasons there are many more reasons that Jesus came to earth so we celebrate this day the birth of jesus we remember but he's no more a baby in the manger then obata puluwan me bible pada thawa duratat menehi karana meeta wada boho pada tibena ithin api unwahansege me upada me aakaren samarana namuth mataka taba gata yutu karunak nam thawa duratat christus wahanse e gawa urwe sitina ladruwek nove he is seated at the right hand of father exalted he is the king and the lord of all mahanse piyan mahanse ge dakun parshave e singhasane tula sitina e nisa unwahanse rajun ge rajatumat siyal lengema mahime labanta bati nau tanan mahanse seta sitlesa sitina amen amen